Hello there and welcome to the card grotto. Today I've got the new Clearly Besotted stamps released to share with you. All of these items will be available in the shop tonight at www.clearlybesottedstamps and at www.simonsonstamp.com at 10pm British Summer Time, which is tonight. So as I usually do, I thought I would show you the stamps and then my card samples that I've made using them. So first of all is one of the smaller sets. This is called an Apple a Day. Really Really, really cute little set so you've got obviously all the different apples here with the different um, designs in them so polka dots and um, solid image lovely pattern here and then one with a little heart cut out and then you've got obviously the two stems so you've got um, an outline stem and then a solid stem and then you've got you are the apple of my eye and you are the sweetest really really cute and then it does actually come with um, it doesn't come with a die that you can purchase, although the die already came out, if that makes sense. So um, back in April um, last year, this set came out, which is the um, Teacher's Pet, which also has some apples on as well. And the die um, that you use for that set um, coordinates with this set here, which is really great. So if you've already got it you don't have to buy another um, another die set and also I've used two different stamp set on on this card that I'm showing you here so I'll just show you this one as well this is called the diagonal stripes I love this set I I've only used it on one card um, on this release but I know I'm definitely going to be using it a lot I really really like it so you've got the thinner stripes and then obviously a bit thicker and then you've kind of got like um, a double stripe um, and the same with this but the um, they're thicker so it just I mean I can see so many different uses for these um, so I really like that set as well so this is the card that I've made um, using those sets so as you can see I've just stamped the diagonal stripes along the bottom and then I have um, stamped the um, apple out and then I've actually die cut it out and um, you wouldn't really need to and you could make it completely one layer but I've put um, quite a large amount of glossy accents on it and sometimes it warps the card that's why I've done it as a separate layer and then I've stamped the sentiment underneath so I just I really like that it just make um, a cute little thank you card and the next set here is called Love Blossoms. Really, really lovely set. Um, you've got the um, like the um, tree stem um, um, on the top, and then you've got all these lovely blossoms. I believe they're cherry blossoms. I'm not great with um, knowing the names of flowers and things. I believe they're cherry blossoms. Um, I just think I think they're really lovely anyway. So you've got the solid image. You've got kind of like a not an outline but with an extra kind of added um, little bit of the on the ends and then you've got the kind of like the middle bits and then you've got three different sizes of those and you've got some lovely sentiments as well so this is a wedding themed so you've got wishing um, wishing you a lifetime of happiness you've got to the bride and groom on your special day on your wedding day congratulations may you live happily ever after and then you've got a couple of um, small ones here so you've got congratulations to a special couple and with love. I just thought it was a really, really lovely set. And there are uh, dies that you can purchase separately that coordinate with those. So this is the card that I've made and I've made it as a wedding card. I've just kept it really very simple. So I've stamped um, what I'm thinking is cherry blossoms. <laughs> um, I apologise if they're not. So I've just stamped those in some pink ink and then I have um, embossed the sentiment over the top with silver embossing powder so you can probably see that shine there. And then I've just added a few little um, rhinestones as well. I just thought it would be quite nice sort of simple um, wedding card. The next set here is called Monogrammed. This is one of the larger sets. Um, so at the bottom here you've got a circle, um, a square and an ampersand and then you've got um, kind of like a filigree line and then you've got from the desk of um, the wedding of and the wedding of in obviously two different fonts and then you've got all of the alphabet here. Um, obviously I'm not going to go through them all, I'm assuming you know the alphabet, um, but they're just really pretty. You can see the um, the detail on the letters there. It's really, um, really ornate, very pretty. So you could obviously use this as wedding stationery, um, you could use it as normal stationery, you could use it as, I mean, anything. The um, possibilities are endless, really. And it does come with a, um, a set, um, a 
dies that you can purchase separately as well so you've got the square here the circle and the ampersand now I have to be honest I cheated a little bit with my card I have only used the ampersand on this card um, only just because I really wanted to use it um, I, like I said I do believe the possibilities are endless with that set but I was desperate to use the ampersand so I have done that um, so what I've done is I've taken some this is doodle bug paper and just put it at an angle and then I've um, stamped out the ampersand and then cut it out with the coordinating die and then I've used the um, a little sentimental set if you follow my blog you'll know that I use this a lot um, and I use the hugs and kisses sentiment there at the bottom and just masked off um, the separate words and then stamped those so it says hugs and kisses and I just thought that was a, quite a nice sort of like a bright um, cheery kind of card um, but like I said I will use some of the monograms um, soon but I just really wanted to use the ampersand there so the next set is another one of the smaller sets this is bridal bouquet really really lovely set again and um, you've got these are all sort of flowers I don't know whether you class them as roses or what kind of flower you would class them as but they're very pretty when they're stamped um, and you've got like a um, they're kind of like a build up set so you stamp the solid image first and then you can stamp the kind of it's not an outline but just kind of like an added detail and uh, maybe in a darker color that's what I've done um, obviously you could use however you wanted to and you've got three sizes of those flowers and then you've got the leaves as well and again you've got three sizes of leaves and again they're two um, kind of step stamping as well which is really nice and then you've got two the bride and groom there as well and then there is a, um, a die set again that you can purchase separately for the leaves and the flowers. Now although this is kind of classed as a bridal set um, or a wedding set, I have actually used it um, in a different purpose and I've used it as a thank you card. I just thought it would make a really pretty thank you card. So what I've done is just masked off the card here and then I've stamped the um, flowers and the leaves in two different inks one lighter and one darker and then I've used the thanks die which has already been released the um, I think it's just called yeah thanks word die and I've um, cut that out with some white cardstock three times and layered those up I don't know if you can sort of see the layer there and then on the top layer I've just added some Wink of Stella and then a couple of rhinestones. So I just thought it would be a different way of using those stamps. Um, you can still obviously, I, I honestly think that most of these sets you could use in so many different ways. And um, so I, as I said, I've made a thank you card. And then last but not least is The Graduate. Um, a really lovely um, set again. Um, so you've got the... Um, do you know what? I can never remember the names of these things and I am actually graduating for the second time um, next week actually and I, st I still don't know the names. I think it's a mortarboard, I think. It's the hat anyway. And then you've got the scroll there as well and then you've got um, two of these lovely um, sentiments here. So you've got, it says, do not um, go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And then this one here is um, live as if you were to die tomorrow, learn as if you were to live forever. And they're quite nice inspirational quotes for um, you know someone that's graduating. And there is a coordinating um, die set you can purchase separately as well. And this is the card that I've made. I've kept it really quite plain and simple, just white and black. So I've stamped the hat or the mortarboard or whatever it's called um, out and then I have embossed that with some black embossing powder. In real life it's quite um, quite shiny. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And then I've used the congrats um, word die again. Uh, well, obviously not again, but it's a separate, <laughs> separate word die. I really do love these um, word dies. And just... Um, cut that out with black cardstock just one layer this time and then I've added some silver wink of Stella on the top and then a couple of um, enamel dots as well I just thought that was quite nice sort of plain simple card so that is the release from Clearly Lubazotti Stamps this month. I would love to hear what your favourites are so far and if you purchase any tonight as well. Um, I know there are lots of you that follow um, you know, the, the company and um, you, you pretty much buy every month. So I'd really like to hear what your thoughts are on this release. Um, obviously it has been a little bit delayed um, this month unfortunately due to postal problems. Um, but hopefully you know you'll really enjoy them and it's been worth the wait 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.